Is it record? Okay, now it's recording again. I never know for sure when it's actually doing that. Hey everyone, McGregor, how's it going? Um, today's a pretty sleepy Saturday. Uh, not too much going on. My classes have, or the ones that I'm teaching have their final on Monday. So I'm expecting a final rush of people being like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to come Monday morning, but we'll see what happens. Put on glasses. Okay. Uh, not much is going on. I'm listening to somebody play Guitar Hero 3 in the background because it's like listening to music while you clean, except I'm not cleaning yet, so we'll see what happens. Um, Cousin Revu and our other roommate are busy playing Clash of Clans. I don't really follow it that much, so not much is going on around here. Um, you guys noticed my uh, blog video a couple weeks ago. Not much has been going on. Um, I have been playing a lot of stuff, just nothing for you guys or anything like that. Plus, I have been busy with work. Um, in terms of stuff that I have purchased recently, uh, I have zero. Let me start back a couple weeks. I have a camera. It has a picture of things. Wait, can it take a picture of me and then show that picture in the thing? Okay, that's kind of creepy, actually, and kind of cool at the same time. Oh, and, and it recognizes my face. Thank you for recognizing my face. Photoception. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Um, I have been playing up a, a couple things. One, uh, Club Nintendo sent me that thing. They were like, hey, we're closing up shop, so we need to, you know, redeem your points. And I had just earned enough points for the silver reward or the gold reward. Not the platinum one, the the, the lower tiered one. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll just download Zelda 1 for free on a virtual console for the Wii U. And I was like, yay! And, of course, now I'm definitely back in the habit of trying to do Zelda 1 speedruns. So, I know I did, like, a video of that maybe two, three years ago? Let's say three at this point. Um, you know, where I was like, here, I'm just going to play through Zelda 1 in, like, 79 minutes. And I've gotten about that fast again, fortunately. Um, I'm still, stra you know, trying different strategies, <sighs> yawning, unnecessary yawning, I'm still trying different strategies and things, and a lot of it is just me trying to figure out what I want to do with the game, I mean, I'm, I, I have no real interest in trying to do, like, a world record or anything like that, but if I could figure out a way to get Zelda 1 under 70, I would be very, very happy, and not 100% completion, just, you know, beating the game, getting all the... Triforce pieces and regular stuff from there. So my first my, my my early game has a good strategy now You know I go and collect enough rubies to go buy the candle to go get all the stuff and get bombs and get the hard pieces Go get the white sword and do the, all that before I hit dungeon one Then I go to dungeon three and four and then really dungeon two just happens whenever I feel like it at this point basically if I need to like uh save up a lot of rupees or anything else like that, then I'll go to Dungeon 2. Um, and my current strategy leaves me with enough rupees so that I can usually buy the bomb upgrades in Dungeons 5 and 7 still. So, yay for over-preparedness. Uh, other than that, I went to our local video game store, and I bought Scribblenauts Unmasked. So that's a Scribblenauts game set in the DC universe. So, you know, opening scene is like, Batman, help us! And I was, I've enjoyed it. I mean, I've only played it for like an hour so far, but I've enjoyed it a lot. And admittedly, I don't know my DC background that much, so hopefully Cousin Revu will help me in those cases. Because it's like, summon a Green Lantern. Which Green Lantern do you want? Um, do you want Hal Jordan Green Lantern? Hal Jordan Blue Lantern? Hal Jordan Red Lantern? And I'm like, what? Isn't it compro <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I know French either. Anyway, so I, I, I'm missing a lot on that background information, but I still like the Scribble Knots games. Um, yeah, so I've been playing that a lot lately. I did a video where um, I also downloaded the Zelda Randomizer. So that's an app or a, it's a program that you can use on with uh, Zelda emulators. Basically, it's a kind of cool idea where you can mix up where everything is in the game, all the dungeons are in different places, the dungeons have different layouts, all the items are scattered around the world, and you have no idea where anything is. So, 
I, I did a recording of it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do any audio recording with it. So all I have is just the gameplay footage with its audio. But it, basically, it's me frantically searching for a weapon for 20 minutes. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. I honestly kind of like that. I might, I might upload that, even though I don't have any commentary with it or anything. Um, and it would be... I don't have the software right now on this computer to do any kind of like you know background commentary or add that in. I I can find software I'm sure, but I don't have any of it on my on my laptop right now. Otherwise things are going fine. Semester's coming to a close. Yay! I have to finalize grades and everything by Wednesday. Their final exam is on Monday, so I'll have I'll have known how many points each student is gonna is, is gonna get finally by the end. Uh, hopefully they're prepared. I doubt they are. Problem with this class is a lot of them have seen pre-calc and trig in high school, and they're like, eh, I don't need to worry about it. And then they get a 60% on the test, and they're like, huh, that sucks. And then they don't worry about it, and then they just keep not worrying about it. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just me ranting about things going on in the world. Um, I will be teaching in July through August, so the second half of the summer. So I do have about a month, maybe two months off, which is kind of nice, actually, in terms of not having to worry about work, but that also means not having a whole lot of income coming in. So hopefully I've saved enough uh, over the last couple few months to coast through the summer. We'll see what happens. If not, you may start asking, I may start asking for help or something. I don't know. No, I won't. Probably. Anyway, thank you for seeing you later. Have a good weekend.